Hey, today I'll be talking about that gain. What is and what causes that gain? That gain is an increase in halftone dot size from the original negative or halftone proof to the final print. That gain makes the printed material darker than intended. The causes of the dot gain improper plate exposure or processing, quantity of ink, over impression, and plate thickness. Improper plate exposure or processing. What this means is to use the correct time for each process or exposure. The exposures are back exposure, main exposure, washout, post exposure, and finishing exposure. Quantity of ink. There are three types of inks that we work with. So there are solvent based inks, water based inks, and ultraviolet curing inks. Flexible water based inks stay in the pH range of 8.5 to 9.5. Water based inks, they're environmentally friendly, safe and easy to use and dispose of, dries from evaporation and absorption. Solvent based inks, they're flammable, volatile organic compound, they're bad for health and environment, works well on, on absorbent substrates, they're very durable, and they're bright. UV inks. They do not evaporate or dry. They cure when exposed to UV light. They're not very vibrant or very durable. Can be formulated to stick to about any substrate. Difficult to clean. Must use acetate to clean. They're health concern and used for clear coatings. Plate thickness. The thickness of a flexible printing plate is usually measured in mils of an inch increments. The thickness of a flexible printing plate here at CP is 0 0.067 and the type of plate that we use is photopolymer. If we don't get enough exposure time, then our floor plate is going to be too tall. Then we, then we were ready to print, we will print stuff that we don't want or we don't need to. And on the other hand, if we have too much exposure, then our float, floor is going to be too small and our plate is not going to have enough support. Here you have some examples of dot gain. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.